Hey, David Bear here from Bear on Marketing, and uh, I'm going to show you some really interesting information um, about the uh, the wine industry in uh, the state of Oregon. And by the way, there's nothing about uh, our local wine industry that's any different from the majority of the wine industry uh, around the U.S. and uh, and around the world when it comes to what I'm about to show you. But um, uh, you are looking at uh, Google right now. I simply typed in Oregon wineries, and um, as you will notice there is something missing here there's absolutely nothing happening over here on the right hand side now this is my personal view and it tracks um, uh, the fact that I am here in the state of Oregon if I changed it to a world view there actually would be uh, some ads that show up uh, there's one uh, Oregon winery that's that's um, advertising here and then all of the rest of these ads are actually um, generic ads from wine related things but nothing specific to the state of Oregon um, wine.com forward slash Oregon for example all right, I'm going to jump over to the next one here, um, Oregon Wine Tasting. So that actually has some uh, buyer intent there. Somebody's looking to go wine tasting or uh, looking to go to an event. Uh, again, no advertising whatsoever here in Google AdWords. Um, Let's jump to another one, uh, Oregon Winery Tasting Room. Okay, even more intent, somebody is looking for um, tasting rooms or tasting room. Let's let's actually put a plural on that, see if that changes anything. It shouldn't. Uh, again, no advertising whatsoever here. So if, if you're starting to pick up on the theme that I have to show you, it's that there is lots of opportunity to get your winery uh, in front of people who are using these search terms. Uh, let's do one more. Oregon Wine Trip Planner uh, was another, and that was a suggested um, thing from Google. So I started typing in Oregon Wine Trip, and Oregon Wine Trip Planner was the first thing that popped up. And they're suggesting that I look for this, but no ads. Again, if I click on the um, the, the world view, uh, sellers503.com, so it's a, a retailer, online retailer, um, World of Wine Tours, so a, a wine tour company, um, a limousine company, so other things, but again, no wineries are showing up here, and no wine retailers, by the way. Now, you may be wondering, well, this is all you know, fine, but David, there's probably not a lot of people searching for these terms, and the fact is that you're, you're actually right. There are not a lot, um, but when you put all of these together, there are a considerable number of monthly searches on each of these. So Oregon Winery, 170, medium competition in terms of uh, bidding for that, uh, 260 for Southern Oregon Wineries, Portland Oregon Wineries, 140, Oregon Wineries Map, 320. So when you add all of these up, knowing that there's basically nobody competing for these keywords inside Google AdWords, that gives you a lot of opportunity, particularly if this is a pay-per-click, meaning you're only paying when somebody clicks on your ad. Now, I'm going to jump over from Google to the place where I work. I work and specialize in Facebook marketing. Uh, I'm happy to help you out with uh, with Google AdWords. Uh, it's it's a, a tiny, tiny fraction of my business. But when it comes to promoting wineries, I think that there's huge opportunity inside Facebook compared to uh, Google and it really has to do with the um, consumer mindset and the type of uh, promotion and service that you have and so I did a, um, a graph search that's the you know typing some funny things in up here that um, will display um, stuff that's been shared in this case uh, and I'm looking for things that might have appeared to be uh, ads from wineries. I haven't found one yet. I did find a, a Washington Post article. Uh, I found something from um, uh, Bon Appetit Appala Appalachia, I guess. I, I assumed that was the magazine, but it's not. It's uh, uh, Bon Appetit Appalachia. So this is, you know, some, um, maybe it's a, a local uh, magazine. Who knows? Anyway, um, but I'm looking through here. All right, so now I have one post that um, might possibly be an ad. I'd have to go and do some research because we, we can't see ads in Facebook. Um, if you don't understand why, I'd be happy to explain it, but uh, we don't see ads unless they're targeting us. 
or if somebody shared them and I'm able to research them. Um, but I'm not seeing any ads that are utilizing the um, uh, the terms that I typed in uh, up above, winery, tasting room, uh, and this is just one of several searches that I did, and it uh, it's pretty much the same thing uh, no matter what I happen to search. Um, you're not having any competition when it comes to advertising on Facebook. Now, I want to jump back over to the um, keyword planner because the suggested bids on a lot of these ads are two dollars and seventy nine cents, fifty five cents, fifty four cents, fifty four cents, eighty two cents. Um, inside Facebook, however, getting ads in front of people are going to be considerably less, probably well under fifty cents and possibly well under twenty cents uh, every time an ad is clicked on. Um, now. I'm going to bring you into the um, the back end of the ads uh, manager in Facebook, and I just put together some um, very very basic demographics. I didn't really um, uh, dig too deep into um, into types of things that we could market, but uh, I am looking at consumers from the states of Oregon and Washington, uh, ages 30 and over, uh, both male and female, uh, with interests in Oregon wine, wine tasting, wine tours, and wine in general. Um, that's really all I've put in here. I could put um, behavioral information in that they are, um, you know, uh, alcoholic beverage uh, beverage purchasers. But the fact that they have an interest in wine and they're uh, over thirty, um, that's good enough for me to come up with an audience of somewhere between eight hundred and nine hundred thousand. Now these will tend to be higher net worth, and in fact, I can put that sort of information in here as well. But without um, digging down deeper and when I run ads, I dig a lot deeper than what I'm showing you here. I can get information on this um, this this subsets um, range of page likes. Uh, so I have a sense of who these people are. Um, they're you know they like Skamania Lodge, they like Sun River Resorts, um, uh, they like uh, Woodenville Whiskey Company. I guess that's a lot of Washingtonians. Who knows? Um, they uh, they read uh, Oregon uh, they read uh, 1859 and uh, Oregon Coast today. Uh, there's lots more information that I can get around about these people, but the thing that I'm most interested in is this number right here, and it's the number of ads that this audience that I want to create clicks on on average compared uh, in a 30-day period compared to the average Facebook user. Average Facebook user clicks on six ads in a 30-day period. This group that I am uh, starting to uh, sculpt and target here clicks on 21. That's actually a very high number. And, and so I have the ability to continue to tweak this group and try to push that number even further and then develop a very, very targeted message to them. Um, and and it's, it's an amazingly uh, fun and um, uh, insightful and very, very useful tool to get messages out to a very specific audience. Uh, and when you are a winery or a, a wine retailer even, you want to be working on branding yourself, which means that instead of being in Google AdWords where you're responding to somebody's search, which is a great thing, being in front of them over and over again with an ad with a call to action to, you know, check out what we have to offer at our tasting room. Um, you know, a special offer for new wine club members. Uh, you know, a, a, a list of retailers where, you know, uh, some highly coveted wine of yours has been distributed and they can find it. Whatever it may be that that's the hook that's going to get them to respond to the ad. And, you know, those are just a few ideas. Um, this is where we sculpt the audience that's going to be most receptive to that. Uh, I can do things like, you know, they, they subscribe to a uh, spectator or a uh, wine enthusiast or wine and spirits or, you know, they like uh, a particular, who knows, Antonio Galoni, who, who cares? Um, but I can get more and more uh, specific about who this audience is. So, listen, if you're interested in learning more about how I sculpt uh, these ads, and how I generate traffic for my clients, 
go ahead and, and visit me either at my website or my Facebook page, bearonmarketing.com. It's going gonna, it's gonna to have the same information. Uh, and one of the really cool things that I do is I install custom apps just like this one. Now, this is a video I, I happen to pause um, that I made here. But basically, the idea is that um, you can have a very cool custom message here. My message is all about the services that I provide. So I give away a free guide. I have a, a, a DIY Facebook marketing uh, course that uh, that I give away dirt cheap because uh, of the, the incredible value that I want to be able to share with people. And then I have higher end services like creating custom campaigns uh, that are mobile optimized and all of that. And other services as well that we don't need to go into here in this video. But I wanted to give you an idea of what is possible uh, inside Facebook and how you can leverage it for your business, uh, whether it's you know a winery, a wine retailer, uh, even a restaurant. There are lots of different ways to focus in on a very specific audience and to target them and share a very, very targeted message with them as well. So I hope that this has been useful, it's been interesting, and uh, if, you, if you like what you saw, you wanna learn more about how to leverage Facebook um, to capture leads, uh, to continue to target and retarget uh, with ads that are speaking directly to an individual and their interests and the type of activities that they demonstrate they're engaged with, um, please reach out to me. I'm happy to chat with you. I'm happy to uh, give you more details on how all of this works. And if it leads to working together, so much the better. But I, I want you to know that the wine industry, an industry that I love and have worked in uh, for uh, over a decade now, um, is not utilizing these tools and you have an opportunity to take advantage of that and and I'd love to be the one to help you do it. So this is David Bear, Bear on Marketing. Thanks for spending the last 12 minutes with me. I'm going to sign off now and hope that we have a chance to uh, to meet up, chat together and uh, and work together as well. Thanks so much.